Ingenious aims to assist first responders to be more effective and save more lives during natural or man-made disasters and crises by exploiting novel technologies. Ingenious is developing, integrating, testing and validating a next-generation integrated toolkit for collaborative response. It ensures high level of protection and augmented operational capacity to respond to the disaster scene. This project has received funding from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme and the Korean government. Today, we are here in Paris at CSP Training Center to demonstrate the various components of the ingenious Next Generation Toolkit, such as the Smart Helmet, Smart Boots, K9 Vest, Ground Control Station, Modular Aerial Camera System for Search and Rescue, Multipurpose Autonomous Exploring Drone, Integrating Positioning System, Field Communications, triage and victims identification, augmented reality systems, fusion engine, expert reasoning, worksite operations app, social media app, multi-language operation app, and the common operation platform. We will see how they work together and showcase how they can ensure high level of protection and augmented operational capacity, assisting first responders in saving more lives and being able to return from the disaster scene safe and sound. The use case we will simulate and engage in Genius NGIT is a large earthquake of 6.9 degrees on Richter scale that has struck an urban area early at noon. Several collapsed buildings are reported, lack of communication, energy grid failure and suspected gas leaks. A number of victims is expected to be mostly localized around and inside specific buildings that have collapsed partially or completely. A number of collapsed buildings is reported to the call center of the agency. Ingenious teams arrive at the location and the field communication with the COP platform are deployed on the field. Also, a triage tent is deployed near the command center to triage and identify victims after the extraction from the debris. We will deploy two teams with first responders and each team will have four members. We will have two extraction teams with three first responders in each team, one canine unit and a medical team with four first responders and one doctor located in the triage tent to provide first aids to the victims and prioritize the treatment and the transportation to the hospital. Firstly, we start with the drones. The MAX flies over the location to map the area and send to the ground control station a map of the scene. The MAX will fly outside and inside a collapsed building to receive images and send the data to the ground control station. Team 1 is deployed outside the building and uses the multi-language application to communicate and the worksite application to have an overview of the mission status. In parallel, social media app integrated in the COP receives relevant tweets from the earthquake and after filtering them, feeds the COP and shares it with the appropriate first responders. K9 unit starts looking for victims and identifies two of them in the debris. Through the live footage of the thermal camera, the command center is able to confirm it. The first team is using smart boots, augmented reality glasses and uniforms to send data to the command center. After completing the search and rescue mission of the first building, the victims are extracted to the triage tent and their level of emergency is evaluated, while our application identifies them in the existing database of the restaurant employees. Team 1 continues the mission to the second building, which is a hotel. A fire is located in front of this building and marked using the augmented reality glasses. K9 unit starts to investigate in the area of the hotel. After the first team has entered the building, all the members of the team collapse due to a gas leak. After receiving data from the boots and the bracelet, expert reasoning creates an alert to the COP, which is transferred through the fusion engine. After securing the hotel, the second team starts a search and rescue mission also equipped with the integrated positioning system, which maps the internal area of the hotel. 
All the victims found in both locations are extracted and transferred to the triage tent, where they are provided with first aids and receive appropriate treatment. The first full-scale exercise was successfully completed and we are very satisfied by the operation of all the ingenious next-generation integrated toolkit that were tested. It has been very exciting to see the tools uh, deployed and used by the end users, collect their feedback and adjust our tools based on that. I was very excited to take part in such a large-scale test because we could demonstrate our components in realistic disaster scenes and also we can talk about uh, our experience to first responders face to face. Actually it's true that it's the first time because we had a Covid period that uh, um, made it not possible to have um, together the exercise that we wanted to do. So yes, uh, it's the first time that all the first responder and technical partners uh, come together in a full exercise and it was very interesting to, uh, to have that uh, uh, because we, we could uh, exchange uh, our point of view, uh, give uh, critics from the first responders and uh, technical partners could uh, be uh, reactive about that. So yes, it was a, a good work together, a good effort that we saw and uh, I think we managed to have a, a good exercise. So anytime you test new tools in uh, realistic conditions, you will face new challenges that are impossible to predict and to simulate under lab conditions. And this is exactly why we need to do these uh, exercises in order to see how the technology is used and what are the limitations. We look forward to continuing the development of all the solutions and we hope to see our systems used by first responders on operations in the future.